Hi, so we are going to go over dihed recrosses. Remember, mono means crossing one trait. What's the prefix di mean? Let me know. Dihybrid. You are going to cross two traits. So before we crossed height, so tall or short. Now we're going to cross two traits. So say height and um, color, all right? Or height, round versus wrinkled. So we have round. We're going to talk about pea plants again. Wrinkles. Round is dominant, big R, right? So wrinkled would be recessive. We'll stay with the tall, big T, short, little T. So dihybrid crosses two, two traits. Okay. So let's do an example here. Um, say we're crossing a heterozygous. Tall, mosaicus, wrinkled, pea plant, pea plant with a small zygous short heterozygous. I'm assuming you remember everything from monohybrid. So if you don't, go back and watch that video to review what all the alleles, um, terms mean, allele, genotype, phenotype, heterozygous, homozygous, okay? I'll review a little bit in here, but if you don't understand, I'll probably go too fast. So um, that is what we are going to cross. So dihybrid crosses two traits. So first off, we have to figure out what the two traits are. So we have tall and we have short. Tall, if it's heterozygous, tall, we know it's dominant. Big T, short is low T. Now, which one's dominant, round or wrinkled? We have round, then we have wrinkled. Okay, so homozygous wrinkled, pea plant with a homozygous short. So homozygous wrinkled, that could be tall or short. So we, or sorry, that could be dominant or recessive, so we don't know. Heterozygous round, there we go. The only way that something can be heterozygous is if it is dominant. So heterozygous round gives us a dominant R. Wrinkled is recessive. There is my key. Boom, I got one point. Okay, now let's figure out the cross. Heterozygous tall, so that's big T, little t. Homozygous wrinkled, little r, little r. Homozygous short, little t, little t. As homo means same, short is recessive. Heterozygous round, hetero means different. Round, big r, little r. Okay, so now we do all this information. Ah! Okay, so heterozygous means one of each, so big T, little t. We did that. So we're going to write that down, big T, little t. So this is all one plant. This is plant A. Plant A. Homozygous wrinkled. I have to put it right next to it. Little r, little r. That is one plant, right? So what's on the next plant? Let's check. Homozygous short. So that remember we already figured that out. Little t, little t. Homozygous short was right here. Heterozygous round is right here. Okay. So remember how I told you I always have to write the dominant one first. You do have to do that, but you have to also put the letters by each other. So you have to put the T's by each other and the R's by each other because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Kind of like um, if your brother's name is Frank and his middle name is Joe and your name is, what's his other name? Oh my gosh, uh, George and your middle name is Michael, George Michael. <laughs> Okay, so you're not going to say Frank Michael because your middle name and his first name, you're not going to combine them. You're going to keep your name together, George Michael, and his name together, Frank Joel. You're not going to combine them, okay? Even if you sit on the bus together, they're not going to call you by different names. So these always have to be together, and then these two always have to be together, okay? Together, together, all right? I'm sorry if I confused you. Okay, so one thing that's fun is a dihybrid cross. Uses 16 boxes. What? 16? No, I can't draw that many. Just make a big box and then you just make 16 boxes like that. You can almost see that. I feel like I should write with a darker marker. Do, 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 do. Should I sing a song? You can see it. That's fine. Um, maybe I'll get notebook paper or not, not notebook paper next time. I think my marker is running on my ink, is what I think.
there. Is that better? 16 boxes. There we go. That one got a little bit wild. Wild and crazy. All right, perfect. Oh my gosh, I couldn't have made that better. So now what do we do with these 16 boxes? Oh, this marker's really strong. <laughs> it's a foil. Okay, so this is how I show kids how to foil. Write the numbers one, two, three, four. Okay, so look at there's four. One, two, three, four. There's four alleles. Okay, so how do you do this? How do I figure out what goes in each gamete? Gamete here, gamete here. How do I figure this out? I don't know. One, two, three, four. So you go one with three, one with four. Two with three, two with four. You're like, how is that helpful? Well, number each one. Number it. One, two, three, four. See, you number them. So then if you went, I want you to see these numbers. I don't know if we can see them. One, two, three, four. So then you'd go one with three. So you'd go big T, little r. Okay. Now one with four. So big T, little r. One with four. Big T, little r, yep, same thing. Two with three, little t, little r. Two with four, little t, little r. Look at that, you got four. So that could be your four eggs, okay? So then you'd put them right here, big T, little r, keep them in the exact same order, it matters. Big T, little r, little t, little r, little t, little r. Boom, shock locker. Okay, so let's do this one. If it's helpful, right underneath them. I'm just going to write them all right here. Little t, big R. Little t, little r. Can you see it? Right here. Little t, big R. Little t, little r. Okay. If you get these wrong, all of this is going to be wrong, and then you have to state the phenotype, and all of that's going to be wrong. So your whole problem is going to be wrong. You'll get like one point for putting the key in. Okay. And one point for your cross. So it's really, really important that you know how to foil. So if you don't understand, hit pause, rewind, watch that part again. Okay. All right. So now when you fill up this dye hybrid thing, you have to bring it down and over. So let's use red. So big T down. Remember, keep the letters, put the dominant one first, but keep the letters by each other. Lots of rules. Big T, little t, big R, little r. Big T, little t, little r, little r. Big T, little T, big R, little R. Big T, little T, little R, little R. Big T, little T, big R, little R. Big T, little T, little R, little R. Big T, little T, big R, little R. Big T, little T, little R, little R. Little T, little T, big R, little R. Little T, little T, little R, little R. Little T, little T, is this annoying? Double check my work, because sometimes when I do this on the whiteboard, I'm going so fast so that I don't bore you to tears and then I mess up. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Am I done though? No, I have to state the phenotype. Phenotype. We don't state the genotype for um, this one because it would take 500 years. So we just state the phenotype. What does phenotype mean again? Phenotype. Photograph. What it looks like. So what is it going to look like? Remember, it could be tall and round, tall, wrinkled, short and round, short and wrinkled. So you have four options. Now let's write all that down. Tall and round it could be. It could be tall and wrinkled. It could be short and round. Or it could be short and wrinkled. Look at that. Okay, well, how do we get tall and round? How do we get that? Well, tall, remember, because I made this trusty rusty key here, is big T. So what I write is big T blank because it doesn't matter what the next one is. It could be big T, big T, or it could be big T, little T. It doesn't matter. You'll get tall either way. So I write tall blank. How do you get round? Same thing. Let's look at my key. Round is big R. So big R blank. And this doesn't matter if you have polka dots or stripes or crooked or wrinkled or normal or bald or whatever. You can use this the same way because what it is is dominant, 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 recessive. Recessive, dominant, recessive, recessive. That's how I write it below. Okay, tall wrinkled. Tall again, big T blank. Wrinkled. How do you get wrinkled? Little r, little r. Short. Little t, little t. Round. Big T blank. Short. Little t, little t. Wrinkled. Little r, little r. There. 
because you have to know the genotypes because this in here are genotypes it's not phenotypes so this isn't specific genotypes that's where i don't list them um but we find them like this so what i do is i use a different color or if you don't have colors at your house then you use shapes what do you mean by shapes so i go through here i don't want to cross them out when i count them because what if i counted wrong right so sometimes it's good to double check your work so i'm looking for big t blank big r blank so let's see oh here's one so this is if you don't have colors you can do shapes like a star I use stars, I use circles, I use squares, like that, or I'll highlight it with different colors. We'll do stars for this first one, in case you don't have colors. There's one, so you get count in your head. One, nope. Remember, I'm looking for big T, blank, big R. So one, nope. Two, nope. Three, nope. Four, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Four. How many boxes were there? Do you, do you know? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Or you can do 4, 10, 12. There's 16. So in mono hybrid crosses, there's 4 boxes. In die hybrid crosses, there's 16. 4 to 16. If you want to reduce that down, you totally can. So 1, 4. Okay, tall wrinkled. That is, so those are stars. Tall wrinkled is big T, blank, little r, little r. Let's check. So I'm going to highlight it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so four out of 16. Okay, short wrinkled, little t, little t, big R blank. So I also do this, little t, little t, big R blank. One, two, three, four, four, six, four, one. Are you seeing a pattern? Short wrinkles. One, two, three, four. Four, sixteen. So, oh, you can't see that. So then what I like to do is I like to count them and make sure I count them right because sometimes you count wrong. So 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 4 is 16. So 16 out of 16, that's good. Every once in a while I have a student turn in and they'll get 15, 16, so they missed one. That's another reason why it's good to highlight them or circle them. Or do, I like to highlight the best. That's my favorite because once they're all highlighted, I know I used them all. So that's how you do that. So I'm going to give you one to do now. And you're going to hit pause. See if you do it right. Heterozygous tall, heterozygous round, pea plant, cross with the same thing. We're going to do heterozygous tall, heterozygous round. All right, so heterozygous tall. I'm just going to help you out with the key because we've only done one. So we have tall, we have short, and we have round, and we have wrinkled. Tall is big T, short is little t, round is big T, wrinkled is little r. Oh, sorry, I said round is big T, and I wrote r. Okay, so there's my key. Hit pause, all right, and figure this all out and see if you can do it. Did you hit pause? I feel like you're cheating. You should hit pause. Hetero means one of each. Big T, little T, hetero, big R, little R. Crossed with hetero, big T, little T, hetero, round, big R, little R. Okay, did you get that? Hope so. Okay, mono hybrid crosses has have four boxes. Die hybrid has sixteen. This marker's so strong. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you're not here to smell it. All right, so how do you foil? Remember? Big T, big R. Did you forget how to foil? Maybe that's helpful. So big T, big R, big, little, big T, little R. Okay, little T. You get that much? No. Great. No. Big T, big T, big R, big R. Big T, big T, big R, little R. Big T, little T, big R, big R. 
Big T, little T, big R, little R. Big T, big T, big R, little R. Big T, big T, little R, little R. Big T, little T, big R, little R. Straight shut up now. Double check my work. Okay, so this is what I got. That we got. Count them all out. All right, so we can have tall round. Tall round, dominant, dominant. You know, tall, wrinkle, dominant, recessive. We can have short. Can't see yet. Short round. We can have that's dom recessive, dominant, short, wrinkle, recessive. Recessive. Well, how do we get such things? How do we get tall round? Tall, big T. So how do we get tall round? Big T blank. How do we get round? Big R blank. How do we get tall wrinkled? Big T blank. How do we get wrinkled? Little R, little R. Short, little T, little T, round, big R blank. Am I going too fast? Sorry. Short wrinkled, recessive, 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 recessive. Let's count them out. I'm going to highlight because that's one for me. Tall round, big T, big R. Big T, big R. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sixteenths. That's tall round. All right, let's do tall wrinkles. Big T, little R, little R. Okay. One, two, three. Three sixteenths. Okay. Let's do short and round. Little T, little T, big R blank. One, two, three. All right. Let's do short wrinkle. Little T, little T, little R, little R. Let's add these up. Oh my gosh, I don't want to write. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. Very good. So I counted them all. 9. So this is my answer. So my phenotype. And this is kind of my genotype. And there we go. Yay! You did it! You did it! You did it! Yay! Love to see most. You did it. You guys used to watch Dora when you were four? Alright, um... Watch us again if you have questions or email me, all right? We will do uh, incomplete dominance, co-dominance next, I think. Bye-bye.